And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ezreal LeBlanc is our first day today. We have three really, really cool looking donation decks today. I'm pretty excited about our stream today. Um, so our first one here is going to be a combo deck with Ezreal LeBlanc. Kind of like it, this is this deck has a little bit of everything. This We can play some aggro, we can play control, and we also have a combo finish all together. So with our aggro, we're going to have uh, cards that care about reputations, cards that strike for five. We're going to have Triparian Glory Seeker as our two drop. That's a five one. Of course, LeBlanc is a, is a good... Um, attacker being a 5-2 for 3. Also have Reckless Trifarian at 5-4. And then even Thorn of the Rose is a 5-1. And all of those uh, 5 power things are important because we want to turn on Reputation. So we can have Whispered Words, um, be able to draw 2 for only 2 mana. And more importantly, so we can have Mimic cost only 1 mana with Reputation. Um, Thorn of the Rose, though, in here is a card that I haven't really liked that much in, in decks because it only has 1 health for like 3 mana. I've been that impressed with this card. But it actually, I think this could work really well because it creates the Guile, and then the Guile, you know, stuns something, and so that's a that's a way to target for Ezreal to help level up Ezreal, and then of course Guile works really well with Ravenous Flock. So now we have not only do we have a Rachnoid Sentry to go with Ravenous Flock and have that combo, um, that usually costs four mana. We also have the Thorn of the Rose with Ravenous Flock combo. It does cost one extra mana because we have to spend the one mana on the Guile, so it does cost five mana instead of four. But that could still also be just, you know, a great combo as far as killing stuff. So we have both of those together for our Ezreal. And we have like, so we have this Mimic in here that I talked about how we can make this cost one. The reason why this could be important is if we have a leveled up Ezreal, which should be that difficult to level up Ezreal. We have um, the 2-4 that of course it says whenever you cast a spell, deal one to the enemy Nexus. Well, if we have two Mimics in, in hand, and like let's say it costs one mana, you can have Mimic copy... Mimic, right? Because it says pick a spell in play or in hand and create a fleeting copy of it. So you have your two Mimics in your hand. You have your first one, just copy your second one. And now you still have two Mimics and you just spent one mana. And then you can do that again and copy it again. And you still have one, you know, like, so for the cost of one mana, you can basically play a Mimic and copy the other one. And it's burst, which is awesome. So they can't respond. And so for however, however much mana you have, you can play that many spells. So each one, whenever you have your leveled up Ezreal, each one deals one damage to the enemy Nexus. So we have eight mana, and we have our leveled up Ezreal in play. Boom, just copy it eight times. That's eight eight damage to their Nexus that they can't do anything about. Pretty awesome. Um, and then, of course, if we don't have Reputation, Mimic will cost three. And like if we don't have like that combo, we can still use Mimic to just copy other stuff, which is cool, especially copying Tribeam and Probulator. That's a really good use of it. We have lots and lots of three cost cards in here, so we're going to be an awesome Tribeam and Probulator deck, and so we can we can have Mimic copy Tribeam and Probulator too, and help uh, help that out with the the plus one, and so that could be pretty cool too. Um, so yeah, so this should be pretty fun, and uh, we'll go ahead and give this a shot. So Ezreal LeBlanc, let's go play our five games in ranked. We didn't do so great in ranked yesterday. That's all right. You know, we have our, our ups and downs whenever we play all sorts of different new decks. Um, I'm pretty confident in all these doing real well today, though. I feel like we're going to be ranking back up today. <laughs> uh, t ooh, all bilge water. I was, I was going to see, you know, like Twisted Fate Gangplank. I was like, oh, I wonder what their splash region is, like Shadow Isles or something. But no, all bilgey water. Let's mulligan Thorn of the Rose. I kind of want to mulligan Thorn of the Rose. I think I do. I think I'm going to mulligan all three of these. I mean, Static Shock uh, can be good. It helps Ezreal level up. Yeah, so they're going to be yoinking our cards. They're going to have, like, twist, you know, Twisted Fate. Like, this should be, like, a Powder Keg deck, right? So, like, Static Shock could be, like, kind of decent against Powder Kegs. Um, maybe I'll keep it. It's good against, like, Petty Officer. Powder Kegs, like, Black Market Merchant. You know, it can kill that kind of stuff. It is the two targets for Ezreal. But then I, I didn't really want to keep Thorn of the Rose because of Twisted Fate, right? Like keeping one health things and they just go Twisted Fate red card. Time to make an appearance. Who's on top of the bounty board today? All right, well, that'll be our first for reputation. Time to make some coin. <sighs> yeah, like they could be playing like Jaw Hunters. I guess, or Boxtopus. Could be playing those kind of cards. 
Do you think they pass if I pass? Yeah, I don't think so. Um, I thought you'd never ask. All right, so they did hit the allegiance. They got pretty lucky there. They nabbed one of my cards. I don't miss. Yeah, I was hoping they were gonna miss the allegiance, gotcha. but they got it. What's up, Adam? All right, so our Mystic Shot will turn this Yordle Grifter into one health, which is convenient. Seize the opportunity. All right, so they turn on Plunder again, though, with the Monkey. Unfortunately, the Ravenous Flock doesn't go great with the reputation. Which is too bad. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. We got plenty of Mystic Shots. Plenty. Powder keg scary. This is number four. All right, I got back up as real though too. Alright, so that will level up Ezreal. Yuck. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Or played one. That will of course level up Ezreal, so it won't die. I think I just let Ezreal die and just play a new one. Just play the new one that's the 2 4. Just how do I want to deal with this thing? I kind of want to just take 3 and go to 9 and hold my sentry. No, maybe I just block with Ezreal. Yeah, I could I could have prevented that as re Oh yeah, I guess it would die anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess it would have died anyway. All right, you know I'm just gonna block. My cards are too good. Just keep taking my cards. My cards. I'm always up for a round or two. Keep taking. My cards. Who says I don't share? Striking looks and stunning words. So, no, so yeah, so I can Guile Flock, I can just get Ezreal in play. Alright, 
Alright, so they're going to be able to kill both of my things. All right, so it looks like I'm going to just going to be using Mystic Shot on the Long Tooth, most likely. Looks like trouble. I go to eight. Because this thing will just die at the end of turn since I stunned it. Which, maybe I should have done that to begin with the sentry, but I want the Ezreal in play. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? I'm sorry, there's a lot of options here. I'm, I'm not very confident in exactly what I'm doing. Ezreal. And so I know I'm not playing the fastest. Because I, I haven't set myself up very well to use these two cards particularly well. And now I feel like i got to play this. And then be able to stun the monkey. That gives them, you know, lots of time to play other things, though. Um, if I just attack him... Fine. I guess if I just attack him, it's probably lethal. Okay. So we're probably good. And then if they if they you know play anything else in response, I still have another mystic shot. Okay. All right. So that was that was a real interesting game. Took some weird ways to get there, but you can see the power here with you know Ezreal and these Noxus cards. GGs. Easy. Easy. What do we got? Ooh, much more aggressive. Bilgewater again, but a much more aggressive deck. I mean, I love Tribune and Probulator. Um, and I guess, I guess I'm going to keep all this stuff. None of it really blocks that well, but... Yeah. I wish we had the attack token turn one, turn three. It's a big deal with Misfortune decks. Not letting them attack turn one, turn three. Whisper Words is our worst card to draw, because we're just not going to have time to play that card. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that we just have a worse um, Draven Ezreal. Draven Ezreal has, you know, like that. That deck's been around for months and months and had lots of tuning and everything, right? Like this is like a, a new deck we're trying. It's, it's not really. That's not really productive. Like trying a new deck and then just saying, oh well, this is a worse deck of other champion combination when we, you know. Who knows. That's not a, a productive place to start, right? Whenever you whenever you start with a new deck. The prettier the rose, the sharper the thorns. Are you quite dumb? All right, so my probably is at two right now. My reputation's at two as well. Um, all right, the yeah, LeBlanc's champion spell is the four mana Mystic Shant. I thought you'd never ask. Like a fish in water. <laughs> hmm. That puts a damper on me. No free Mystic Shot for me. My 
my time. I'm gonna stun the gangplank, but who knows? Maybe I should have just played LeBlanc and tried to block it. Obstacle, meet gauntlet. Places to go. People to be. Rest to kill. <laughs> Is it really so obvious? Game plank's at four out of five. For the Empire. This just kind of costs too much mana for me to do this right now. The, the problem, of course, is that that does level up Game Plank, so Game Plank's going to be a 6-6. Six, six. And I'm at seven, and we know they have Noxion Fervor in hand. So that's not great either. But if I if I go the signal mal malice, they can still noxion fervor either way. Yeah, we're we're in trouble for sure. All right, so this is doing five, getting us a five cost follower. That will turn on repeat. Oh, that's not going to turn on Reputation. Hmm. I need to hit one more time to turn on Reputation so that then I can Sigil of Malice this thing. Yeah, I mean, we know about the Fervor. We need... Okay, I was going to say we need at least one of these to strike him. And yeah, I guess it would have made more sense to have LeBlanc after those other two. Fervor is pretty rough. Gosh. So we know they have Fervor, so we know that... So, like, now I'm at one health at best. One health. That's still, like, me having to find, like, a removal spell for something. Okay, there's a removal spell for something. Okay, they didn't try to fervor. Yeah, probably means decimate, but hopefully not. Hopefully not. Nah, they just drew it. Good game. They're a little too aggressive for us. GG's. I think if the if the attack token switched, I think that that, that could have been a big deal with that game that... We had different attack tokens. You know, like, they had the attack token turn one, and they had, you know, turn one, they had the two one, and then turn two, Legion Grenadier. Turn three, they had the four three Overwhelm. Turn four was Sprayfin. Turn five was Gangplank. Um, you know, like, that's, that's a really tough curve out to stop. And then, you know, turn six, they played, you know, multiple of the, the two threes that dealt Nexus damage. And had one drop, right? Like, so they played a whole bunch of stuff turn six, and then decimate they had the, or, you know, turn seven, they also still had decimate, right? Like, that's, <laughs> that, there's no shame in losing that game. That doesn't, you know, like, most every deck loses that game. So no, no shame for our deck losing them. Kindred LeBlanc, huh? I like all this. So we have the, the combination with Thorn Rose, Ravenous Flock. Or now Sentry, Ravenous Flock. I love Tribune and probably later, of course. Mystic Shot is great against LeBlanc. Flock can kill Kindred. Everything's easier behind the mask. Let's make this a night to remember. It's a surprise. I'm holding Static Shock, which is why I didn't want to attack.
And yes, I would like to trade Mystic Shot for two cards, right? I know that having Mystic Shot to kill LeBlanc would be nice, but we're also, you know, we're talking about, you know, them having two extra cards in hand, so uh, it's, a, it's a pretty big deal. If I leave with Glory Seeker, it's difficult for them to. I like. So I go Glory Seeker, I challenge, kill LeBlanc, then they play Kindred. I'm kind of in a tough spot. Like, my pass isn't like amazing because they can just open attack with the 5 2. But none of these things are great. Like, if their plan is Kindred this turn, none of these things are like really that great to play before Kindred. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. I guess it costs two cards. But I could Thermogenic Beam in the next turn Scorched Earth for Kindred. Alright. I'll just do this. I, of course, love three mana Thermogenic Beam, right? For Tribeam and probably later. I do like that quite a bit. When you want a job done right. Love it. Bookie's Arena Bookie, awesome. Zero out of four. Whispered Words is not easy. Just reputation in general, not easy to turn on. Which one should I kill? Bookie or Glory Seeker? Glory Seeker. This will hurt their reputation. Shen Lux. I haven't I have not built Shen Lux recently. No. I've done Shen Lux a really, really long time ago, but that was probably months ago. I would say. Double bookie, pretty awesome. I am going to be open attacking with everything. I wouldn't mind a complete board trade. Simpleton. And I want to block with the five one right now before the before they find like a vile feast, something like that. They would kill that five one. You know that. Wow. All right. So. <laughs> LeBlanc and Whispered Words. So Whispered Words was the cheapest card in their hand. It's got to be some Kindreds over there. Yeah, they just drew that. I guess they could pass. Maybe I should play this Whispered Words. Yeah, I should just play that Whispered Words. Another hopeful... Cool, Ravenous Flock. I like it. Yep, I got punished for not playing that last turn for sure. Could have had that, like, that Reckless Trifarian. Yeah, they're also a control deck also. My money. Spirit Leech, pretty, pretty good. You're at six. You're mine. Free Mystic Shot would be awesome. Not sure if Free Mystic Shot will work out. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess it's possible they have Ruination. I didn't really, I didn't really consider Ruination. 
But yeah, I guess that's possible. So much card draw, though. Shadow Isles really does have a lot of card draw now with Spirit Leech and Glimpse Beyond. Like, <laughs> they've drawn, <laughs> they have nine more cards Ready. gone than what we do. That's a lot. A go hard deck. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Yeah, let's just get the tri beam. Get the seven drop. Ancient Yeti. Yeah, I didn't really consider it too much. So we would have dealt. So they would be at four right now if I would have if I would have done the full attack. But then my Sentry and Ezreal would be dead. I think we're better off where we are right now. Both of those being dead, not great. Would have been not great. Right, but I mean, if I would have gone full attack and they would have blocked Arachnoid Sentry. Right, like if they would have blocked Arachnoid Sentry, then they, that would have killed Ezreal also, right? Because they would have slayed the Sentry, which would have killed the Ezreal, and so they would have just, they would have taken, you know, five more damage. They would be at four right now, but like these two would have been dead, and we would have had the five four and the five five. Firing. Right. Oh, did I? Oh, because I, I had the one mana left, so that once they blocked the 3-2, I would have been able to flock the Kindred. Oh, right. Okay. All right, never mind. That was just... So then that's just a bad play by me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would have had the one mana left to kill the, the Kindred. I don't know why I was thinking I was tapped out. But yeah, I, I had the mana left, so I would have been able to kill Kindred. Hmm. Which then, of course, they would have been at 4, and then I would have top tech... And then they would have been at 3 after... They did have Ruination. They would have been 3 after the Ravenous block. And then, so then that top decked Mystic Shot could have been lethal. Yeah, so obviously, so that, that was the play I needed to do was attack with a 3 2. And... After that. Scorched Earth not looking so good. Okay. Scorched Earth looking a little bit better. Everything's easier behind a mask. I mean these are these are like five I do kinda of have to kill these five ones. Like obviously I could, I could do one damage to the kindred and then kill the kindred with the scorched earth. But I don't know, we kinda of have to kill five ones also. I do like how like the, the challenger can't block. I do like that. For me, attacking. If they want to use like removal, keep their ch keep their challenger alive. Like if I no. if I kill the glory seeker, then they're really incentivized to like use a removal spell to kill like my five two and you know to kill both of my things. cards in hand are just so useless. No Scorch Earth has been pretty useless in all of our games so far. Maybe we could do something better than that. Static Shock now, that's a card. Yeah. 
Now we're talking. No, I think there's only the two Scorch Earths. Yeah, there's just two. That's going to put that back in their deck either way. Um, but it would slay. Let's slay my card. And... I know I have their flock, but I want to use Scorched Earth while I can. Because remember, we have like the three Thorn of the Rose and the three... Uh, the three... The other three two stuns, you know, so we have we have the different stun cards that maybe be able to use the flock easier. That is true that if they get to pack your bags, we can mimic pack your bags. That's true. I was planning on just probably using mimic again on static shock, but is an option. Why did that Guile go away? It was fleeting? Why was that Guile fleeting? Oh, it was just Arena Bookie just discarded it. Okay, it wasn't fleeting. Alright, my bad. Yeah, honestly, that maybe that's my plan. Is copy Packer Bags. That doesn't sound like the worst plan ever. That's five damage. So we only need two more. I don't think it would just turn into go hard in my hand. Because I don't think it, it doesn't it doesn't transform as far as I know. I'm pretty sure it would still be packer bags. But I, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird card. Let's make this a night to remember. Come on, let me hit let me hit you for three. Let me hit you for three. History forgets, but the black rose remembers. Remembers. Well they can't, they can't play pack your bags right now. They only have three mana. Pack your bags was their cheapest card in hand. They gotta have, you know, they have to have multiple pack your bags in hand, right? Oh, I guess yeah. I guess I could have flocked this escaped abomination. I wasn't really even really. I wasn't really even thinking about it too much, but sure, yeah, I could have done that. There's probably not not real too many reasons not to do that. You know, if I would have flocked that 4-3, it would be dead. Now it's going to be dead anyway. But this is this is pretty hot. Copy or pack your bags. Opponent's deck was really cool, though, right? Like, because they have, like, their own mimic. Pack your bags. Opponent's deck was really cool. Just all that card advantage everywhere. All right, good game. Yeah, Scorch Earth can do some stuff with our decks. Yeah, I don't think we just just because it was bad that game, we don't we don't need to take it out yet. And like this game, it could be pretty nice, killing like a big Trundle or whatever, a Leviathan. LeBlanc doesn't seem very good against Avalanche. This is a weird hand. All right, we're gonna replace you, even though like like Thermal Giant Beam could be like really useful later. Whisper Words definitely really useful in this kind of matchup. Maybe I just keep them all. They're all cards that could be useful later, but I guess I'm gonna get one LeBlanc. Nothing.
Nothing escapes my watch. You look for Tribeam. This is definitely a good Tribeam matchup for sure. For sure. The best lies are beautiful. Safeguard our home. So they can have Sentry block my 5-4 and then cast Avalanche. That would be sad, but that would be... That would just be 3 for 3. But then they would draw an extra, they would draw an extra card. Where are you at? You're at 2? I think I'm going to Guile Flock this thing, because Flock just doesn't kill the champions. Where, like, I want to save Thermog Thermogenic Beam to kill the champions. Uh, uh, uh. Um, but so far, they're going to have three extra cards than I do. I have the two things in play. But, you know, Sentry drew a card, Battling Beard drew a card. Why we're gonna need the whispered words. Cause even if we kill like even if we kill Leviathan, Leviathan's still drawing Swain, of course. They're not firing off Avalanche. That's a, a good sign, I think. Oh, they're just slow rolling that avalanche pretty hard. Really don't want to see Swain, right? Because like Swain is really rough against LeBlanc for me. If they do like if they play Swain attack, I probably have to just block and then like have it be a one health for Static Shock, I guess. That zero's at three. Do I attack or do I play Ezreal first? I think maybe I just attack and wait on Ezreal. Welcome to the tipsy up. Kind of want to wait till we level up Ezreal before I play it. Swain's not leveled up, it's at 7. So they'd still need to do an additional 5 to level that thing up. And my LeBlanc's at 9. Sure, dealing 1 to everything. Sharpen the blade, secure. 
secure the kill. Good thing I didn't throw down, you know, my Glory Seeker at the end of last turn. And play into Ice Shard. Good thing I didn't do that. Ancient things trapped in the ice. Nothing a little steel can soup. Darling, you are dressed to kill. <laughs> Is it really so obvious? Yeah, that's my plan. Like, stun, thermo, and put a ton of pressure on them. You know, maybe hit them for 15. I okay, guess 16 would do the LeBlanc last. No. And another flock. Well, that's pretty fortunate for them having two one mana removal spells like that. That's a, that's a great draw, right? Right now, another Mimic is my best card, because if we get a second Mimic, then we then we can kill them. We can combo kill them, that's assuming that we don't die here. So we it's kind of, so we can either Mimic the Whisper Words and we draw, you know, draw two cards with Mimic, or I just draw two cards with Whisper Words, hope we hit another Mimic, and then we can have our, our double Mimic as real combo. I don't have the mana to kill them this turn. Let's see, five, yeah, we'd be, we'd be one short. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to just cast words and hold on to the mimic. You gotta believe me. I love that they're attacking right now. No, go back and attack right there. Yeah, see that I don't love this. <laughs> I prefer they would have just attacked there. I would have preferred that. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. Yeah, can we survive? If if we don't die this turn, they lose. Probably means I should play Ezreal right now. Don't blink or you miss me. Probably can't kill Ezreal right now. Okay. Such little lives. There we go. So they're at nine. We got 13 mana. Burst speed. No real reason to let them respond to do, do anything. No reason to attack and give them priority and let them, you know, play star shaping, burst, burst speed heal or anything like that. Just, just do it. And that's our combo. There we go. Three and one. Easy. Like my name. Oh, Fiora Shen. All right. Let's see how we do. So, Mimic and Whispered Words are going to go away for now. They're very good cards, but they're going to go away from now. This is actually a... a Pretty terrible Ezreal matchup between like Fiora challenging or like whatever challengers, but then also like Sharp Sight to block, also single combat. It's actually just a pretty terrible Ezreal matchup. So we're th that's what I've kind of learned. Like just don't don't keep Ezreal in your opening hand against Fiora Shen. Um, I could see maybe keeping the Whispered Words, I guess. Actually, thanks, Jess. Um, this one I'm not sure about the Whispered Words. I'll keep it. No, I don't want Ezreal. <laughs> Can we get Tribeam and Probulator, please? Nope. Yeah, Tribeam can eat barriers, but... Go get him, Trifarian. Be all reckless and stuff. Not really, like, the best... Cards for us to draw. 
I'm kind of glad no River Shaper, right? I was definitely worried about, like, you know, they just play, like, River Shaper, get attack, get to draw all these spells. I can't block it. I'm glad no River Shaper. Because five power is just a, a little annoying for Fiora, right? Like, that's... We can annoy Fiora. Like, or not. <laughs> or not. Maybe they don't have a fight spell. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. <laughs> Alright, Jess. Have a good day at work. River shape the land and give it life. River shape the land. Me, 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 me. Don't blink. Oh, you miss me. So, I don't like Ezreal in this matchup. The only reason why I'm playing Ezreal... Um, the reason why I'm playing Ezreal is to turn on Mystic Shot. In my hand, so I can bust up a barrier. That's the reason why I'm playing it. So my other Ezreal can be the Mystic Shot. Alright, so one Fiora down, that's pretty big. We got three out of four for reputation as well. It's pretty nice. Ugh. Oh no 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 no, because they have the flea feather tracker. I was just thinking about the screeching dragon. No, I just played that in flea feather tracker. Well, we got Whisper Words turned on. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, that note before was gross. Ah, uh, this 1-3 is just so perfect against my 5-1. Alright, it's gone. Water changes, but never breaks. My shield is yours! I don't have an efficient way to kill this River Shaper. Because I, I kind of want to improbulator this River Shaper. And then I still have Static Shock Ravenous Flock available. It's not a very good improbulator, but... I think that's preferable to them drawing free spells. I say they use a barrier to save River Shaper. <sighs> Nopify again? You're killing me, Nopify. I was really hoping it would be a barrier and then I'd be able to Static Shock. That would have been ideal. Yeah, they're, they're running out of cards-ish. I mean, they have three out of four. 
casting Static Shock right now. Mostly to draw a card. This is just such a valuable card at busting up barriers and stuff. Alright, we'll just pass. We can take six. Time to make an appearance. Yeah, Tribeam's too good. We can't rummage that. Let it happen. No deny. All right, good. No deny. I think we pass one more time and see if we get a, another three drop. Cool. Because, you know, like, we have a lot of mana, right? Like, so mana isn't that big of an issue. I think it's it's probably worth turning Mystic Shot into a, a five one. Okay. <laughs> no, I have no I have no allies in hand. Tribeam's even better. Now we have found two guiles with these Thorn of the Rose to rummage, so that's very good. Hmm. Huh. How about that? Man, Egghead Researcher is just always busted. Victory requires a sharp blade. All right, so does this, does this make like the exact copy? Like, will this make a, a five, like deal five card? I assume so, right? Yes, it does. Oh, how about that? Show them what we're made of. Oh, look at that. Wow, Tribeam and Pribulator. I think we got some pretty good luck there with, that, with those Tribeam and Pribulators. Is sub Subpersible is like the best hit ever. <laughs> yeah, good thing we saved that Tribeam, right? That was a good call on saving it, being patient. And uh, that we really got rewarded with that Mimic Tribeam. So wow, this deck looked really, really good. And it was really fun to play. I really liked this Ezreal LeBlanc deck. This is this was definitely my favorite LeBlanc deck that we've played so far. We played a you know a good amount of different uh, LeBlanc decks, and this one was my favorite. Um, I hadn't really thought too much about this Mimic card, but wow, did it really look good and it really performed well. We had the game four where we had the crazy combo with the two Mimics and Ezreal in play against our Swain opponent. Just burst speed machine gunned them down. That one was pretty crazy. But then we also had like that last game where I was um, just really patient. I didn't rummage away the Improbulators. I just waited on them, waited on them to be great. I, I knew they would come through for me. And, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of this Tribune Improbulator. And with us having, um, what, 19 three mana cards, I was just patient. I was like, all right, we're going to draw another three mana card. We did. 
we drew the two thorn of the rose which got us the guiles that we got to rummage away and then we found a mimic we got to mimic copy our tribeam and probulator to deal five twice get two different five drops and there's lots of great five drops in this game and we saw a couple of those with sub percival and the inspiring marshal uh, but really awesome you know ravenous flock was just great with having both sentry and thorn of the rose in there um yeah, and, and then, you know, like, Scorched Earth looked bad a couple of games, but then other games, you know, it was, it was over there helping us kill, like, Leviathan, right? Like, where you got to kill Leviathan, right? So I, I, I think that the two Scorched Earth are perfectly fine in this kind of deck. Static Shock was incredible, honestly. There, if there's one thing here, I, I kind of wish we just had more static, like, a third Static Shock. Like, this, it actually, like, it was breaking up barriers. It was dealing damage to help out, like, our uh, Ravenous Flocks. It was just doing... It was just doing a bunch. It really was. It was performing really, really well. Um, with our Scorched Earths being kind of dead cards quite a bit, we needed a card like Static Shock for that. Um, so the the Rummage kind of looked a little awkward in here. And I think that's what I would... The only change I think I would make is I think I wouldn't play Rummage and play another Static Shock. Where, you know, Rummage is, you know, built, of course, to help go through the deck. But so can Static Shock can do that too. It does draw a card. And so, you know, you do get an additional thing that says draw a card on it. I think I would do that to help out, help out your Scorched Earth a little bit more. Um, yeah, I think I would do that. I think I would just, just get rid of that rummage, play another Static Shock. And that, you know, be just fine with that. And obviously the Static Shock is, of course, very good with Ezreal as well, leveling up Ezreal very fast. So, yeah, I think that's one little change I would make. But besides that, it looked really, really good. It was really fun to play. Um, we did a pretty decent job of turning on Reputation. Reputation isn't the easiest to do, but we did a pretty good job of it. And once we did, two mana Whisper Words was incredible. That Whisper Words was definitely like one of the real strong cards that we needed in our deck to um, draw a lot of cards and stuff like that. Um, oh yeah, and then, then game three. Yeah, then game three, we did have the Mimic Steal Pack Your Bags. That was also incredible. So our last three games all finished with Mimic. We had Mimic Steel Pack Your Bags, which was insane. We had Mimic um, Combo with the Ezreal. And then we had Mimic uh, hit the with the Tribeam and Probulator and get the Sub Percival with our second Tribeam and Probulator. So those are all really cool things to do with Mimic. But besides that, we were having like Mimic Copy Static Shock to get some extra card draw. We were having Mimic Copy Whisper Words. You know, like we were having our Mimic Copy some good spells as well. Um... All right, but that's Ezreal LeBlanc. Really cool deck here. Really cool LeBlanc deck. If you like playing uh, LeBlanc and everything, uh, you know, give this a try. Somebody at the beginning was saying maybe this was a worse Draven Ezreal, and I don't think so. Playing this, playing those games, this deck felt better than, at least better than the old Draven Ezreal. I'm not sure about like if you add Whispered Words into Draven Ezreal, how that would look, but this looked really good, and I, you know, really liked that Mimic card and Tribune and Probulator is awesome. So it looked good. All right, uh, another card. Like, I wasn't expecting to like Reckless Trifarian, but it, Reckless Trifarian even worked out really well for us with um, being larger than Avalanche, being, um, you know, I thought that, you know, like with Reckless Trifarian, it doesn't stop your opponent from attacking you, but we have all sorts of other things that stop our opponent from attacking us, so it wasn't really that big of a deal that couldn't block, but it was a really nice card to turn on Reputation. I wouldn't play three, but I was just saying that I'm happy with the two of them in here. That's the only thing I would do. So I'd, let's get a third Static Shock in here, take out the Rummage, and then we're, we're looking good. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Ezra LeBlanc. Um, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Hopefully y'all really enjoyed this one. I definitely enjoyed this one. Um, hopefully y'all did too. And so let me know. Leave those comments. I'd appreciate it. All right, but that's it for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.